uh, have to come barging in here without knocking. Can't you see I was busy here? I'm sorry, sorry, sir, but it's a very important phone call for you. Admiral Reynolds, sir. Oh, Admiral Reynolds. Uh, Admiral Reynolds, Binghamton here, sir. Binghamton, now hear this. The British Admiralty has dispatched a task group under Vice Admiral Sir Percy Campbell to this area. The advance elements will be dropping anchor at Tower Trooper at 0800 tomorrow. Oh, well, that, that's quite an honor for our, our little base, Admiral. It's quite an honor. Naturally, I'll order a 17-gun salute. <laughs> you can belay the formalities. Your job is to furnish the British with an officer for permanent liaison duty at their fleet headquarters in Sydney, Australia. Uh, but, but, Admiral, I'm, I, I'm understaffed here right now. Orders from the Pentagon, Captain. Oh, well, no, you <laughs> nitwit. You... Oh, no, uh, not you, Admiral. No, oh, sir. No, I was talking to the nitwit here, sir. <laughs> you, know, you can count on me, sir, for the fullest cooperation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Better not goof this Binghamton. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. As the Pentagon put it to me, don't make waves. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Is there something wrong, sir? You, you seem upset. Oh, of course, I'm upset. You're not scholar. The red coats are coming, and I have to spare an officer to be a liaison with them. <laughs> well, even if I scrape the bottom of the barrel, who could I possibly spare for the job? <laughs> this Pearl Harbor was that. Hey, girls! Come on, let's go! The water's fine! <laughs> How are you, honey? <laughs> Knock off that racket out there. Uh-oh, it's Captain. Get out of your right uniform. Uh, we're not for skin diving, Captain. We'll see you around. <laughs> Carpenter, I tell you, someday I'm going to get that McHale and I'm going to nail his slippery eye to a bulkhead. Someday I'm... What am I talking about? Someday's here. <laughs> Okay, let's open up shop. Tink, you'll be in charge of the Japanese war mementos. Well, try and push the Harry Carey knives. <laughs> Where'd you put the sign? Oh, it's right there. Oh, good. Ah, the old hometown touch. That'll get him every time. Oh, get this red enemy patrol approach. It's Binghamton. Quick, hide the stuff. Shh. Look, half natural. Look sloppy. <laughs> I think they've spotted us, sir. Ah, uh, good, good. Now remember, we've got to make them think that this trip to Sydney is just for one month, and that the whole crew is going. If they swallow that, Mikhail is a dead duck. <laughs> We're on. British launch approaching, sir. Ah, oh, that must be the Admiral's aides. <clears throat> Straighten your tie, Carpenter. Square your hat. You want to make an impression on the British? You've got to be a stickler for detail. Oh, don't you worry, sir. My crew would never forgive me if I did anything to foul up this assignment. Yes, there aren't uh, many uh, PT crews that uh, get a chance of temporary duty in Sydney, Australia. It'd be like a month's uh, paid vacation. But don't uh, don't count your chickens, Carpenter. The British have the right of approval, and I'll have to show them the other outfits, too. Oh, sir, then you mean it isn't definite? That somebody else could still take our place? You're overacting, Elroy. Why? <laughs> It'll all depend on the inspections. I intend to end up at McHale's Island in 1,600 hours. If that doesn't uh, clinch it for you, nothing will. A whole month in Sydney, and he's handing it to Carpenter on a silver platter. Uh, not yet, he isn't. Let's go back and speak to the skipper. <laughs> about it, Skip? It's a dream assignment. It means a whole month in the passionate pearl of the Pacific. Yeah, Lester, Lester's right. I know a guy who won the Purple Heart in Sydney just for fighting off Dane. Hey! Dude, come on, lay off that judo, boy. This is supposed to be a Swedish massage. Okay, next time, you capture Swedish PW. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, how about it, Skip? Are we going to let Binghamton pull a thing trick like that on us? Sure, well, listen, we on, deserve Skip. a break a lot more than partners. Oh, all balls. right, all right. Look, I don't like to see Binghamton pull up faster any more than you guys. So, <clears throat> seeing as how it's a chance to put the screws to the captain, uh, we might just as well give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> give it a try? Skipper, we're as good as in Sydney right now. By the time we're finished, those limeys won't be able to tell this place from Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Captain, uh, isn't that a bit unusual for an American installation? By McHale's Island? No, I, why do you say that? Well, sir, the flag. <laughs> Going to work. McHale's pirate swallowed the bait. <laughs> Permission to come aboard? Permission granted, sir. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. With your permission, sir. On a guard! Detail! Hutch! Right turn! Right! <laughs> and salute! <laughs> Two! Uh, 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 Commander Forbes, Lieutenant Crandall, may I present to Commander McHale, Ensign Parker, PT-73. Hello. <laughs> My pleasure, Commander. Uh, charmed, I'm sure. Jolly good show, Commander. Didn't know you Yanks went in for this sort of how-do-you-do. Uh, well, let's uh, say, Commander, that uh, we're just trying to go by the fine standards set by the Royal Navy, sir. <laughs> all right, Mikhail, all right. Let's get on with inspection. Beg pardon, sir. Tea is served. <laughs> uh, uh, tea? Oh, yes, of course, tea. <laughs> Surprised at you, Captain. <laughs> uh, Mr. Parker, take charge, dismiss the men. Stand easy. <laughs> After you, gentlemen. <laughs> there we are, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, Gruber, uh, would you pass the crumpets, please? Joe, <laughs> oh, crumpets? In the middle of nowhere? Where on earth did you get them? Made them myself, sir. From a recipe I got from my old Welsh nanny. <laughs> uh, well, uh, gentlemen, uh, uh, a toast. A toast. To our great leader. To President Bro. Ah, <laughs> the Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, old man, it's getting rather late. I think we ought to be getting back to board oh, ship. Oh, must you rush off right away, sir? Well, we must get back aboard ship, you know. Oh, well, uh, Commander, what about your decision? You haven't made your decision yet. Oh, yes, Captain Binghamton. We completely concur with your recommendation. We'll gladly take Mac Hale. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yippee! I knew you could do it, sir. <clears throat> Congratulations, sir. <laughs> you recommended me and the crew for the job? Hmm. Indeed he did, Commander. But you seem to be under some sort of misapprehension. It's a loan assignment. Just you. Uh, your crew is not included. Uh, well, uh, you made a very wise decision, Commander. I know you're going to be very happy with McHale. He'll do a fine job for you now. We've got to get back to the base. We have orders to cut. There's lots to do, lots to do. Oh, well, everybody in the gig. Oh, yeah, to cut the orders. And there's lots of well, things no, to do. Now, Captain, wait in the gig. you can't do this. It's not fair. I mean, it's not cricket. Well, well, if it's all the same to you, Captain, I'd rather not leave my men for a month. McHale, I don't know where you get your information, but it's not for a month. It's forever. And it begins tomorrow at 0800 hours when you stop by my office to pick up your permanent transfer. Permanent transfer? But, Captain, you can't! Oh, can't I? I'll see you in the morning. And, Mikhail, be packed. <laughs> You and your Welsh nanny. I ought to drown up both of you in your own tea. Hey, Skip, what's the hey, problem? Hey, Gamble, what's the problem? Hold it, hold it. No dice, fellas. 
The Admiral has his instructions from the Pentagon. Don't make waves, so huh? The British okayed me, and I'm stuck. That does it! Uh, all right, so oh, my really fault. Have it. How can I let a rube like Binghamton outcon me? Oh, now, come on, rube. Don't blame yourself. After all, we all swallowed the bait. Those limeys I got a good mind to swim out to their ship, throw all their tea overboard. Are you the <laughs> <laughs> George Washington was right. But in the course of human events... Oh, now, come on. Come on, knock it off, you minute men. Now, let's face it. I'm hooked. It just goes to prove it don't pay to make good impressions on people. Yeah, Willie's right, Skip. I thought those British should have seen you the way you really are. They'd have never picked you. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, you know how sloppy you are around here. Never... Oh, well, I didn't exactly mean it that way, Skip. I mean, you know... I... What do you mean, you didn't mean it? But it's the best idea anybody's come up with yet. It is? Well, sure. And if we can pull it off, fellas, Admiral Campbell won't even let me aboard his ship, even if it's in dry dock. <laughs> sloppy, huh? Come on, boy. Well, hello there. I want to bump your buddy. Hello, baby. Hey, what are you trying to fucking, baby? Well, Jerry. Jerry? Oh, that's kid stuff. Hey, hey, come here. What you need is a little... Oh, shipping whiskey, baby. Ah, ah, ah. I'll run it, Chuck. Help this dynamite. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, eight ball. Come on, shake the lid out and let's have four glasses. Hey, hey, let's go, sir. Four booze ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a wing ding, boy. Yes, sir. Celebrate my shiver up with you guys in the morning. <laughs> Great. We don't appear to be ungrateful, Commander, but we're on duty hours. And we very seldom indulge in anything more potent before sundown. Before sundown? That's right. Well, the sundown went down! Come on, chuck a fuck at that memory. Get Well, uh, just a social sit. Yeah, just a tail hair. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. That's real good, Skipper. <laughs> and there's plenty more where that come from, buddy boy. <laughs> Woo! Hiya, Sally, baby. Really, Commander. <laughs> really, Commander. <laughs> hey, hey, Chuck, remember Sally when we had that party? We oh. taught her how to shoot crabs. <laughs> Busted up the whole outfit. <laughs> He's a great chap, Cruder. <laughs> yeah. Commander McHale, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but uh, what are you men trying to prove? Uh, 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 prove? What do you mean? <laughs> I will to play that chap, Cruder. I mean, that's murder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you've changed, old man, like you have, but if you're putting on this act of being a bore to get out of the assignment, it won't work, you know. It, uh, it won't? I wish mean, this is a rat, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> These combined operations are more than somewhat tricky, but Sir Percy cannot possibly turn you down now. He's under strict instructions from the Admiralty not to churn water, or as you Yanks so aptly put it, uh, create ripples. Hmm? Make waves, yeah, in all of us. <laughs> well, cheer her, old man. Come, gentlemen. Um, I'm afraid you're stuck with it. Stuck. No sense in drinking this stuff unless we have to. Order, come on, Skilly, buddy. Pip. Let's let's have this one more for the road. Come on, let's go. Hey, Carpenter, wait a minute. I just. Well, wait. I want. I want. I want my mother. <laughs> And I'd, I'd just like to say that no skipper's ever served with a greater bunch of guys. I'm going to miss you, all of you, very much. I'll borrow your hanky. <laughs> oh, my head. Keep up the good work, Chuck. You'll do just fine. Well, so long, you bunch of pirates. Let's get out of here, Christy. Let's get out of here.
Well, it's great while it lasted. Boy, we're gonna have it rough now. I think we're gonna have it rough. Think what the skipper's gonna have to go through. Living with those foreigners, learning a new language. I say, old beans, spice the main race, alarm to arms. All that jolly rot. Yeah, sure gonna be murder. Say, you got that accent down pretty good, Mr. Parker. Oh, it's a little something I picked up in college dramatic classes. I had the lead in Lady Windermere's fan. Hold everything. Have I got an idea? We might get the skipper's orders changed yet. But what is it, Groob? Spill it. Yeah. Come on, let's hear it. Do we still have those limey officers' uniforms to launder? Yeah, back in the hut. It's a long shot, Mr. Parker, but it's desperation time. You've got to give it a try. Right. Give what a try? Well, between our British uniforms and your accent, it might just work. Oh. Come on, Mr. Parker, time's a waste. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, you guys. I was Lady Windermere. <laughs> Lady Windermere, Mr. Windermere, come on, buddy. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Come on. Mm, there's going to be dancing in the boondocks tonight. They say every dog has his day, Captain. Yours is a long time coming. It was worth every second of the wait to see the invincible Quentin McHale finally torpedoed by his own men. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. There's a British Admiral here to see you, sir. British Admiral, see. Oh, yes, sir, Percy, he finally made a showman. No, sir, it's Rear Admiral Crothers Smythe of Royal Naval Intelligence, sir. Royal Naval Intelligence here to see me? Well, I don't know what would be a see. Well, show him in. Don't just stand there. Show him in. Okay, I'll stand over there. Sir. Straighten your coat. Yeah. Yet, be him tonight, I presume. What, what can I do for you, sir? Do? Haven't you already done enough, you filthy blighter? <laughs> filthy blighter? I, I don't understand. Silence, you blithering, popping jay! Now, where is this despicable baggage that you've had the affront to be designed to Sir Percy's star? Oh, I think how I hear Well, speak up, man, speak up! I, I'm, I'm McHale, sir. Oh, yes! Boom! <laughs> Quiet, yes. You'd have known. Birds of a feather and all that sort of rot. Let's have a look at you all. Stand tall, stand tall. Big, yeah! Criminal type of fire, a saw one, yeah. Oh, boy. Yes, quite so, yes. Mm. So, you thought you'd pull the wig over Sir Percy's eyes, did you? Thought that you'd let His Majesty bone your sticky ticket. Uh, that's wicked. Yes, sir, no, wicked ticket. Oh, oh, it, man. My Lord Nelson's Broadway men have been pumped for less than this. Oh, that's my ship's clock. I Bring your cheeks, you fuck! Yes! How dare you have the audacity to assign this man, McHale, to the British fleet? Why, the man's a gambler! Why, he's a drunkard! Why, anybody can see that he's dishonest! He's disreputable, yeah! <laughs> And not to mention insubordinates, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that includes uh, uh, unmilitary, uncooperative, and uh, uh, uncouth, sir. Quiet, yeah, quiet, yeah, quiet. Silence! I am in charge in here. Now we... <laughs> now, forget that. Here, forget that. <clears throat> On second thought, flogging is too good for you. Why, what you have done here might very well be considered Attempted sabotage upon the British fleet. Boom! Long live the king. <laughs> sabotage in time of war, sir? That means hanging, sir. Hanging? From the highest fortnight. Oh. <laughs> Stand up, man. What do you mean, hang? Now, let's get on with the proceedings. Uh, unless, of course, um, you're willing to make amends for this dastardly deed. Oh, yes, yes, I'm willing to do that. Let's make a mention. Let's do that. What if he, uh, uh had the transfer chains, sir? Uh, that would disprove the charges, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, wouldn't that do it, sir? <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels by Jove, it would, yes. Yeah. Well, of course, it's spoiled an awful good hanging. <laughs> I'll take yours, McHale. Stand over there. Yes. I'll do that right away. I'll take care. Oh, and uh, 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 bless you, sir. Yes. Bless you. Yes. Oh, oh. Stand taller. Stand taller. Oh. What is it, Groove? You see anything? You see anything? Huh? Huh? Go ahead, huh? Huh? Up, no chats. Love the day, isn't it? Boy, them British admirals sure are polite. Yeah, yeah they sure are. British admirals? Well, that must be Admiral Campbell. Hey, we better warn the skippers off. Admiral Campbell is coming. Hooray, hooray, hooray. 
He doesn't seem to be in right now. I mean, I'm, this, is, this is my office. I'm Captain Bingham. Oh, how do you do, sir? I'm uh, Admiral Campbell. Oh, you're Admiral Campbell. That's <laughs> Admiral Campbell. I'm so glad you're here, Admiral Campbell. I'm sure you know uh, uh, Rear Admiral Sir Carter Smythe of Naval Intelligence. Where did he go? Yes. Yes. Tally ho. Peep. 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 Cheers up. All that right. Well, we've got to buzz off. Yes, of course I know him. Reggie and I are old school chums. How are you, Reggie? <laughs> Uh, the, the, the Admiral wants to know how you are, sir. He does. He does. Yes, of course he does. Why shouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> capital, Percy. Simply capital. Yes. Oh, have you lost weight? No, I don't think so. I didn't think you had. <laughs> I didn't think you had. He doesn't look to you. Just good to see you all being. Yes. Uh, and then he knows mother. <laughs> well, I'm very well, Reggie. And uh, let me see. This must be Commander McHale. Yes. That's right. Oh, I, yes, sir. <laughs> Well, what seems to be the trouble, Captain? Hi, that's right. Oh, no trouble. Oh, no, no, there's no trouble. We don't have any trouble. No trouble. Oh, come <laughs> off it, man. Come off it. Must be top echelon stuff for them to send Reggie to the rescue. Oh, send that to the... I send uh, <laughs> Reggie to the... I mean, the Admiral's vice with that one. Uh, what Captain Binghamton really means, sir, is that uh, well, he and the Admiral have decided that they need a, a better qualified officer uh, other than me, sir, uh, to, to be your liaison officer. Yes, sir. Uh, isn't that right, Admiral? Isn't that right, Admiral? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, very well, Bean, don't put I see. Well, far be it from me to refute any of Reggie's judgments in these matters. Supposing you gentlemen throw me in over a glass of sherry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you'd never ask, Admiral. If you'll just follow me to the officer's uh, quarters. Some other time, Binghampton, I think you'll be of more use to the uh, war effort if you remain here to cut that change of orders. Oh, hmm? yes. Well, shall we be going, gentlemen? Uh, uh, after, after you, you sir. <laughs> after, after you, sir. <laughs> now, see what you've done. <laughs> Now that we're alone, uh, Reggie... Yes. <laughs> perhaps you wouldn't mind explaining to me this fantastic masquerade. Yeah, well, the masquerade. Yes, the, the, the mask. <laughs> uh, well, excuse me, sir, but uh, it's, it's all my fault, sir. Anson Parker was just trying to get me off the hook, and, uh, well, it was all my idea, and, and all charges should be filed against me, sir. Oh, oh, nonsense, McHale. The whole thing was terribly amusing. Why, we haven't had an accent like that in the British Navy since... Um, Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> Funny, my mother always said I was great. <laughs> As for getting you off the hook, McHale, that's already been done. Admiral Reynolds approached me on a personal basis. I saw no reason to turn him down. Uh, Admiral, you mean I can stay with my men? From what I've heard of your men, McHale, you uh, deserve each other. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, happy sailing and uh, clever thinking. Tally ho, pip pip, chins up, and all that sort of rough. Huh? <laughs> Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye, sir. <laughs> well, old boy, uh, shall we offer a spot of warm beer? Well, I, I see no reason why not. Yes. <laughs> oh, Britannia, 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 all the way. <laughs> Ah, Reggie, you're a gem. I say, watch that, you bounder. The name is Sir Reginald Crothers Smythe. And if you don't remember that, I'll have you flogged to a trumpet. Trumpet? What's that you're saying, Parker? Trumpet, I Oh, that's the things I've ever heard of in all my life. Captain Binghamton, remember those immortal words from our illustrious leader, Admiral Reynolds. Don't make waves. Bye. Well, you, nurse. Why don't you go take out a sick instead of hanging around bars? 